Hey plant friends, uh, welcome back everyone. If you're new here, hi, my name's Angela. This is an awesome channel where we sit down and we talk about plants. Usually they're short videos, they might be long. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so today we are gonna talk about the caring guide for um, staghorn ferns. So Brianna, hey girl, um, you are so awesome and you requested a quick video about how to care for this. And so I thought, let's talk a little bit about the background of this awesome plant and um, some little tips maybe to help grow a happy, successful plant. Um, so the first thing you should know about a staghorn fern is that, well, they're called ferns, but they're actually epiphytes. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Could be totally wrong. Um, but they grow on trees um, or like in between the nooks of trees and their roots attached to the tree. Um, so immature plants like this one um, could be found in soil, um, like at a nursery, right? That's how you could find them. But mature plants, they absolutely need to be mounted on something. So I just went ahead and mounted this guy and I'll give you more reasons about why I did that in a little bit. But um, to continue talking about the nature of this plant, think of it as um, like an air plant, okay? So the fronds, right? These are the antler fronds, and then they have something called a shield frond. These ones are so small, you can barely see them. I can't even show you on camera, I know it won't work. Um, but around the base of the plant are the shield fronds, and then there's a root ball. So that's like the anatomy of the plant. But the fronds um, and the roots can absorb water <laughs> or moisture. Um, so think of it as a fern because it lives in tropical areas, but it's not like a fern because um, most ferns are like in very shaded, kind of like rainforesty type environments, right? Where they can't handle any sort of light, really. Um, they are really sensitive to light. They like it in the dark. Um, on the other hand, staghorn ferns, <laughs> I forgot what it's called for a second. These beautiful babies um, can handle much more light. Now they don't want any kind of direct light, but they definitely need bright indirect light to be happy. Um, so like you can see this room here, this is um, eastern, eastern and southern facing, gets tons of light. Um, so this guy is in a really good place. He's probably usually within five feet of a window. Um, so lots of natural light um, and that's gonna help him be really happy. So. Okay, so watering, right? So we talked about light. Um, how do they absorb the water? So like air plants, they can absorb through the fronds and also through the roots. So when you water this guy, there's lots of ways that you can do it. Now, I've, if you've seen any of my air plant videos, you know that I like to soak and mist because they like humidity um, and they need to stay not wet, but they need that extra humidity. They don't want to be damp. They don't want to be sitting in water or anything like that. Um, so I miss this guy. I've got a fine mister. I think this was from Target for maybe like a dollar, maybe two. Um, but I missed all of my succulents, air plants, um, and ferns with this. Um, so when you mist, you can do the top sides of the fronds or underneath. That's always a really good place to do it. And um, around the base of the plant too. So you can mist throughout, throughout the week. Um, one or two times throughout the week, but at least once a week, I like to do in the hot parts of the year, winter's different, um, but I like to make sure that it has at least a weekly watering. And when I say watering, I mean soaking the roots. <laughs> so this plant, keep in mind, this is mounted, okay? So um, the way I water this, I can either literally stick the whole thing upside down in water and let it sit there for a minute, um, or I could, this is just regular wood that it's mounted on. Um, ooh, that's getting a little loose. Got a little loose string here, I'll have to fix that. Um, but I can also just hold it under the tap water, um, like room temperature, tap water, hold it under. This is just artificial, well it's real moss, but it's dried. Um, and I just, and spray painted green probably. Um, but, uh, what was I saying? You guys, oh, I just run it under the tap water for um, probably about 30 seconds and let all of the roots and the moss soak up that extra moisture. Um, moisture is key for these guys. And then, like I said, misting underneath. So light, water, 
mounting. Okay, so if you have yours in soil, what you're gonna need um, to do is basically the same, but just keep in mind that you want it to drain pretty well. You don't want a heavy soil that's gonna hold everything. So keep it um, a well-draining soil. And if it's a small plant like this one, um, you could keep it in soil. If it gets bigger or more mature, you're gonna wanna mount it. The reason I mounted this guy is because when I bought it a year ago, I've had this plant for a year, and I've only, I lost three fronds and I gained two. Um, and I have a new one coming in, but it's so tiny. Anyways, um, I put it in a terrarium. It was potted and it was a tiny little, um, like one inch pot. It was a tiny little baby. And I thought, oh, this would be so cute. It's a fern, I'll put it in a terrarium. Really great, it didn't die, but I didn't have it in great sunlight and so it wasn't happy. And I didn't realize that. So then I learned that I needed to have more light. So I took it out of the terrarium, got it mounted, I put it in a place where it's closer to natural sunlight um, and I'm being way better about watering because when it was in the terrarium, it did not get much water. And I actually have like one leaf that's damaged a little bit. Um, and damaged, I mean like a little bit of browning on the leaf. So anyways, thanks Brianna for asking for this video. I hope it was helpful. If you or anyone else out there has any other plants that you want me to highlight and give some care tips to, um, drop a comment below and of course if you're brand new um, hi I'm so glad you're here make sure you introduce yourself in the comments and then let me know if there's anything that you need from me or if you have any suggestions for um, different ways that you've mounted your staghorns there's so many cute ways that you do it anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video I really appreciate all of you and I hope to see you in the next one bye